Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 33 of Less Platinum Demon Souls Remake. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to head back to the Shrine of the Dragon God, and we're going to grab the uh, Dragon Bone Smasher that we uh, weren't able to collect when uh, when we were fighting him because we just didn't have enough uh, space. Or like, um, what is it? Item Burden. So in order to collect it... Uh, let me see, this is actually kind of tricky. So you gotta go... I think you gotta go this way. I think you can go either way, but yeah. Let's go up here. Oh, hang on. Oh yeah. I was like, I don't know if I scared it off, so I was like, let me just go for it. <laughs> Clear stone trunk. Wow, I'm getting... That one in particular is really giving me good luck. <laughs> but that's alright. Ah, uh, oh, damn. Alright, I went the wrong way. Oops. Oh, thank goodness you can't fall from there. Uh, like an invisible wall stopped me from falling a little bit further. Go, 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 go. Oh, what's that? Okay. Um, actually, yeah, while I run here, that's something I wanted to mention. Um, the Because I am using a different capture card to capture this, um, it's got a different, like, program that I used to record, and what it does is it records my game audio and, um, game commentary, uh, together, and it also records it separately. So I'm actually able to separate those two in post, and it makes it a lot easier to get the sound right. So I think I've been getting that pretty accurate, um, throughout the whole... Uh, playthrough. So let me know if it's it sounds just about as be the best that I've ever had because I've been really trying to make sure that it sounds right. Sometimes I put the game audio like a little bit low, just like especially like what I've been doing is putting it at like minus five decibels compared to twenty decibels of um, game commentary, which I know seems weird, but like when I hear it, I'm just like, yeah, that sounds right. Um, and then when I'm in like a boss fight, I'll put it to probably like minus ten decibels or minus eight because the um, like the really loud slashing sounds or the roars or whatever will just completely drown me out. Not completely, but it, it will mild, mildly drown me out. Okay, let's get this. All right, so now the last thing that we have to do. Wow, I've got a hard stone chunk as well. Getting fairly lucky with these drops on the crystal lizards. All right, yeah, the last thing that we have to do now is we have to find Skurva the Wanderer, who we've already gone to once, and uh, show him the, the Dragon Bone Smasher that we got. I'll read that in a moment. Uh, this part, if I'm not mistaken, is not required for Platinum. This is just my, um, this is like just for completion's sake, and it also helps people who want to use um, the top level of... I don't know what the what the upgrade is. It's called a grey stone, but I actually can't remember what it does. I'll put a note. Um, yeah, it'll help people to use that particular up upgrade path if, if they want, because you get a, um, a pure grey stone from it, just to spoil it minorly before we actually do it. <laughs> minorly. I remember the pun this time. Oh, I, no I noticed the pun this time. And roll. Beautiful. Uh, okay. Well, the other one just completely disappeared. It wouldn't be Demon Souls if that didn't happen. <laughs> it, like, went underground somewhere. Alright, let's talk to Skurva one more time. Hey, guys! Oh, you demons. Sorry, friend. I'd rather not. I love Bolataria for what she is. A place of odd wonders. Strange faces, wielding strange trinkets, hiding in strange places. I'm beginning to think Bolotaria is better off now than it used to be. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I said that. I could get myself into bother if I'm not careful. Okay, yeah, so he says a few different things there, but when we talk to him again... Hey, lads. You found it. Let me have a look. Okay, so I think... Hey, you found, let me have a look. Yeah, you have to equip it. So, there it is. Holy crap. Oh, wonderful. 
the arts of swordsmanship applied in a perfectly useless manner. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Look at that. Oh, don't mind me, thank you. It was a pleasure. Please take this as a small show of thanks. Take care of this one, will you? She's a stunner. All right, and we get a pure gravestone, as you can see. Take care of this one. All right, and this is the Dragonbone Smasher, so... Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, it's got a weird moveset. It, like, attacks behind. Let me try with one-handing it. Oh, I don't think I can wield it properly because uh, I don't. I mean, I don't think I can do its move set properly because I don't have enough strength to wield it. That's a good one. R two, R two. Um. Okay, let's get out of here. I'll read the uh, description in a moment. Holy! Cr Look at the size of Adamant. Hang on a sec. I can't really. I guess I could try and perform regen in here. Will that work? It is literally. It's got to be like more than a three meter blade, right? Like from the bottom of the sword to the top of the sword has got to be more than three meters. Because that's like almost doubling. Like when she does, does it work like this? Like, well, I could do it, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah, because like when she's holding it, it almost looks like it's twice her, her size. <laughs> All right. So what does it say? It says you need 30 strength, which isn't really that much. It's, it's a lot, but it's not that much. A blunt lump of iron that smashes foes, said to have been forged by the ancestors of the Stonefang uh, miners to be utilized against the dragons, imbued with a spell to protect the wielder from fire. Oh, okay. Mocked by blacksmiths who snidely refer to it as a slab rather than a sword. Interesting. Protects you against fire. Wait, so does that mean... What? Doesn't seem like it protects me from fire. So my fire resistance is going lower when I use it. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Yeah. No, sorry. That's right. 167. Okay, cool. So it gives you some um, some decent fire resist. Uh, there's weapon we'll find later, which gives you a lot of plague and poison resist, which is kind of crazy. All right. So now let's get rid of this, 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 and this. As well as that, everything else can stay. Yep, we're good. Okay, next thing. Let's go back to 2-1. Uh, we got this Searing Demon Soul from um, the Flame Lurker. And it is a very unique and powerful soul. Um, it has... Well, I think I said before, like, certain a certain soul only had one use. Um, I guess technically, in a way, it had, has two uses. You can use it to get uh, a spell or you can um, consume it. This is pretty much the same thing, but instead of consuming it to get a spell, you can um, hand it over to, yeah, there we go. Hand it over to um, Blacksmith Ed in order to get him to be able to um, upgrade special weapons. So let's have a look. So let's give it to Ed. Okay, uh, wait, let me just repair. All right, now let's talk to him. Demon souls. They're like powerful spirits. Some can even bless weapons. But doing so requires a powerful flame. Invigorated by a demon soul of scorching heat. I told you that I'm busy. Each ore has a grade. Mighty weapons can only be blessed by ores of high grade. The highest grade of all is a pure ore that shines in utter brilliance. A spirit force that delights the eyes. <laughs> the highest grade of all. Okay, I think. Let me let me try something. With it, I can forge new breeds of weapon. Bring me your most powerful souls. Okay, so let's give him the Searing Demon Soul. A wise choice. You've done well to put your trust in the great blacksmith, Ed. 
Bring me a demon soul, and I shall use it to bless your weapon. It's very strange that the trophy pops after he finishes his dialogue rather than upon giving it to him. I feel like the coding would have had to be, you know, uh, something like award trophy after dialogue has been completed rather than award trophy on, you know, giving it to him, which is really strange. Anyway, um, okay, so you'll see here that now I can upgrade um, this here, the silver catalyst. I can upgrade it to an insanity catalyst if I wanted to. Um, it, oh, it halves your maximum MP. Okay, so it says here, um, a catalyst wrapped in golden cloth, forged from the soul of the old monk demon, grants its wielder madness, drastically increasing the power of magic, but simultaneously halving one's maximum MP. If you have no future to lose, then who could blame you for placing your faith in the golden robes? So um, we'll be fighting that boss very soon. We haven't actually got the demon soul, golden demon soul before, but we'll be fighting it very soon. <laughs> I have just 16 more souls than I need to, to do that. Uh, here's the Crescent Falcon 4. We've seen that before. I need a pure um, moon shade stone. I also need four chunks, but I'm not going to get that uh, yet. And this is the one I like to upgrade, the Adjudicator's Shield. Um, you just need a colorless demon soul to do it, and I guess a few more souls as well. Um, and it basically just gives you... It looks like it's not upgrading anything at all, but it upgrades the amount of HP that you can recover. Um, I'm just wondering if I should do it or if I should wait. I think I'll wait just on the off chance, because you need... There, there are a way, There's a way to collect, I think it's one, two, three. I think there are three colorless demon souls that you can just collect... Um, by doing specific things. And then there are another five that you can collect from killing um, enemies known as the primeval demons. You need at least three to um, to get a spell, a specific spell for one of the trophies. And then I think the other five are fine. You can do whatever you want with them. So uh, oh, the rest would be fine. So I will probably use it later. But it basically means that you can only upgrade like one weapon to max per playthrough and then on the second playthrough you could do like another weapon to level three so we'll, we'll wait around for that but uh for now that's that part's all done all right what is next next is basically going to be a bunch of trying to collect like special items and, and weapons and stuff so we have the dragon bone smasher from stone fang tunnel we have the, we got the Makoto from the Shrine of Storms. Is that the one that you get? Oh, no, no, sorry. There's one other that you get later. Uh, let's do the, let's do the Valley of Defilement one. That's not too difficult. Uh, we're going to head into the Depraved Chasm. Um, it's currently on uh, pure white world tendency, so we can get this. Uh, so let's go do that one. It shouldn't be too hard to get. Let's just pop a cloak on. Yeah, this should take pretty much the rest of the episode. And then I've got to figure out what to do for next episode. A lot of this... Huh? Did I... Oh, I don't think I ended up collecting this. Because I think I went the, the left way. <laughs> That's funny. Out of all the items, I didn't collect that. I also learnt that if you use the cloak when you're trying to rush these enemies with the fire pokers, I also missed that item. That's impressive. Yeah, if you use cloak when you're trying to rush enemies with the fire poker... Oh, I was like, where is he? I know there's one up there. Um, you have a much more... God, it was a morning star, which is like a, a weapon. <laughs> can't believe I missed that, sorry. No. Um, you have a much greater chance of uh, defeating them. So Sorry if I didn't mention it before. Okay, he still got me, but that's fine. Black pine resin. Yeah, you can see I'm a lot stronger here, and I can take a lot more liber liberties, but still don't want to die. Yeah, uh, hang on, let me use this. I'll just use regular Crescent Moon Grass because I'm going to get a bunch of it very soon. Uh, what do I want to do? Alright, so we're going to go down here. we we'll go down here. Oh, got you. Cool. Now, ah, 
Don't hit me. Drop. Roll. Good, good, good. Roll. Good god. Okay, good. And now we're gonna drop down here. Be careful. What? How the hell did I miss all this? Please don't kill me. Did I really miss all of this area? I'm starting to get confused. Maybe I've forgotten. Oh well. I mean, I guess it's here now, but... I don't remember missing all of this. No, I definitely didn't because there's... Because I got the, uh... What was it called? The mace? Yeah, the mace plus... Plus one or something. Actually, you know what? Let me just step away. <gasps> Uh-oh. No, I'm stuck. Not again, man. This is like... Bloody... What's that game called? Tells of Symphonia all over again. Are you kidding me, man? Wow. I literally can't do anything. Um, let me think, let me think. I know I can evacuate. Maybe... Maybe if I do this... Oh, it's like I can't even kill that thing. I cannot believe I can't get out of this. Nope, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh well, I guess we do it again. Uh, no, I'm not gonna wait around. That is really silly. Man! <laughs> what are the chances? Like, I'm so confused. I was so thrown off by the fact that I missed a whole bunch of items. And then all of a sudden I just died. I mean, I uh, got stuck. Sorry. I'm all over the place now. Alright, let's go do this properly. That's so stupid. Grandpa hitting with a car. I was thinking about Back to the Future the other day. Um, I'm trying to remember... Isn't it, like... When when Marty is with... Um, is, is with his father... This is the first one, by the way. When Marty's with his father uh, at like at his place and he's trying to convince him to to go ask um, Lorraine out he says to to George he goes hey um, if you know if you put your mind to it you can accomplish anything and then at the end of the movie George says it back to him when um, when he's like new book comes in or something right like right at the very end and but I was I got me thinking I was like wait does George uh, like does anyone say it to to Marty first or is Marty the one that comes up with the line because that that's I never thought about it but if that's the case then it's kind of like a little interesting dynamic there it's like the the advice that George gives to Marty was actually the advice that Marty gave to George <laughs> or like was his own advice but I, I can't remember if anyone gave it to him first or if it was just like that I know the movie fairly well, but yeah. I actually thought it was in the scene where he... He's at the, um... I have to be careful here. I actually thought it was in the scene where he's at the school diner, and Marty asks him what he's, he's writing, and he tells him science fiction stories about aliens from other planets visiting Earth or something, and then he goes, get out of town, I didn't know you did anything creative, let me read some. No, 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 okay, I never let anyone read. Why? Oh, what if they said I was no good? <laughs> um don't think I could handle that kind of rejection <laughs> and, and yeah there's that is also a, a callback to what Marty says at the beginning of the movie as well which is pretty clever um, that movie's so damn good all right kill him okay hang on a sec Bow. yeah I'm not gonna look it up so someone tell me um, oh, wait wait I heard you. Oh, you thought you could make me walk the plank. No, no, no. Only I walk the plank of my own volition. All right, let's be careful. So first, cloak. And it looks like we still have just enough time to do this. Land on these idiots. Please kill. Please kill. Okay, we're fine. Consume, consume. I don't care. Okay, now we've got to run down here. Kill this dude again. Oh no. 
Please stop trying to kill me. Right there. Roll. <laughs> Alright, cool. I managed to avoid getting poisoned. Now, this part sucks because there's a bunch of rats. I think if I cloak myself, it'll make it a little bit easier. As long as you don't get bitten by the rats, it should be fine. Ah! Plague! And I probably don't have any Widow's Lotus on me either. Luckily, it's not doing too much damage. Alright, time to look through the inventory. No, I do not, and I don't have any way to cure this. Uh, Alright, well, I guess I'm just going to have to keep healing. I need to cloak. I wonder if there's a way to, like, poison myself and that would override plague. Probably not. <laughs> Alright, so this ladder that's, that I'm climbing up is not here when, uh, when you don't have pure white world tendency. So... Um... So yeah, you need to get pure white world tendency in order to get the ladder to appear. Once you have the ladder appear, then you can climb up here carefully. And you can find a secret area. Cloak again. I'm gonna heal up a few times. Either I've got really good plague resistance, which I think I actually do. Where's plague? Ah, uh, 54. I don't know what the lowest is. Probably 17. So I don't know. Oh, that's not good. Roll. One, two, three. Look how much damage I do to these big guys. What? <laughs> okay, another morning star. Forgot to get it. Gets two. Climb, climb, climb. Alright, now here, let's be careful. I can't remember if you can poison these guys or not, but I'm just gonna go for a, go for the kill. Good. Let's get out of here for a sec. Go on, which one? Probably you. Are you kidding me? Alright, he's dead. Roll. Alright, we did it. And now you can see there's another weapon here that we can pull out of the ground. So we've pulled out the large sword of moonlight, the dragon bone smasher, and now this one is known as the the Isterel, and you get another trophy called one of the few. The Isterel is pretty crazy. Um, it requires nine strength and eighteen dexterity and twenty four faith, um, and it says a short spear of hard or hard oak. Covered with engravings, this spear is one of the few remaining relics of God. Once belonged to the Holy Knight Rasaya, the divine nature of the spear increases its wielder's resistance to, ploy, uh, to plague and poison. To ploy and poison. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's a pretty cool one that you can get. Um, I kind of... What was it? Was it 18 dexterity? I'm, I'm so close. Like, I legitimately kind of want to just level up dexterity two more points just so I can use it at some point. Because it could come in handy. That's kind of always been my general... Um, like, the way I do things is like... Well, especially the way I test. It's like, alright, let's pick something. But then at the end, it just ends up being better to have... Like, kind of a nice spread across everything rather than focusing in on one thing. At least for me. I, don't, I know that certain players like to just have builds and stuff. I don't know, for me, I like to try everything. I'm sure they, they do too, and then they just kind of find what they like and stick with it as well, but yeah. I'll just quickly show off. Um, the uh, Dragon Demon Soul can teach you Fireball, finally. I actually forgot that, that it was uh, Freak that gives it to you. I thought it was um, someone else, but it's not. Uh, so you can use that to get Fireball, or, this is kind of annoying, you can also use the Dragon uh, God Soul to get God's Wrath. Boom. Miracle drive from the soul of the dragon god demon creates an explosive field of force with the casters with the caster at its center. One of the greatest of all miracles. It symbolizes the power of God in opposition to the forces of evil and is an offer of aid to all who are moral and righteous. So that's cool. So I don't know which one I'm going to choose yet. Um, there's a third option which comes up not too long from now, so I might wait for that. We'll see. But for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 33 of Let's Platinum Demon Souls Remake. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.